Just do this like that. It's interesting this because a lot of people say I'm a bit of a fashion victim and I probably would agree that I've kind of thrown off the shackles and I wear what I want and I don't always think it through and sometimes I'm there and I'm going oh that in my brain this looks great but then I turn up and I go see myself on camera and go but I would say Jimmy is more stylish than me yeah 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 because he, he wears the golden goose trainers and he's got his jeans and he's got his style and he sort of sticks to it and he layers stuff well, you know, chuck a scarf on. So, um, didn't expect that, did you? Why? All right, okay, good. Yeah, my favourite ever Premier League player. Um, bizarrely, I'm a massive fan of Paul Scholes. Um, I'm a Liverpool fan, but I love Paul Scholes. I just love the way he went about his game. You know, he was like... It's like Zidane, you know, I, 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 a huge admirer of Zidane, he was just so elegant and, and everything he did so big and strong, but like a ballerina. And the goals he scored, the impact he had on, on, on games. I grew up in Scarborough and it's a bit of a... Um, it, it's not a destination where people will go shopping, so really, uh, it's... If we wanted to go find things, we would have to go to York or Leeds or Hull. For me now, it's kind of like, because I sort of maybe feel like I missed out on a, a bit of that stuff. It's like an opportunity for me to go and, oh, I can, not I can have it now, but I, it's like, I, I, I can find it again. You know, if you see it and you sort of fall in love with it. I got a sweatshirt the other day, it was a, it was a, an Emporio Armani sweatshirt I bought off my mate, second hand lad, lad in Italy. And I had the same sweatshirt when I was about, 18, ex the, not obviously the same, but exactly the same model, like a white one, uh, with with the gold, the gold uh, emblem on the front there, um, and it was just like it was brilliant. It was just like seeing something again, you know, that you that you had. You know. No, it's, yeah, it's. it's oh, go on, yeah, just have a little. <laughs> a bit of that, yeah, yeah. Help me, get me out. New Morse code. Um, right, jacket, you're gonna have, I'm gonna, all right, jacket. Uh, okay, number one is a jacket. It's a Telestella uh, fireman jacket. Uh, it's red and it's got the clasps. Um, and I got it off from a good mate, Stu Spencer in Italy. And that is, um, that's, ne that's never gone anywhere, that. It's absolutely amazing. You probably just got to put a picture of it there, aren't you now? Is it, is it a picture? It's, that, it's that one there. It's there, look at it. It's got a lining as well, beautiful. Two, jeans, yeah. Very hard for me, trousers and jeans, to find something that I like and that I love because I've got quite skinny legs. I don't know if you've noticed, don't pan down. Um, so these jeans I'm actually wearing now, these are my favorite jeans. My daughters are trying to nick them basically because these are kind of come back around, aren't they? This kind of style of jean. Probably a little too baggy for me, but I just love them. Number three, can I? I'm gonna can I two, take two pairs of shoes? Is that all right? So I'm gonna take these, um, which I absolutely love, Timberland Gore-Tex shoes. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take a pair of gazelles. I'm gonna take a pair of gazelles, and they are kind of nice pale, pale green colour. The slim. Slim gazelles. They're not really old, old, but they're you know, about ten years ago. But they're just like kind of go-to. You wear them with every anything and everything. So. One brand to wear for the rest of your life will be CP See, that's a very good question, but it's a very unfair question. And um, I'm going to give an answer now. Okay, my answer is um, Stone Island. Ask me again. If you could pick one brand to wear for the rest of your life. CP company. But, you know. So we love your work with Hannah Nara, Mag. Do you think there should be more help given to professional footballers in regards to their mental health, considering the amount of pressure that they're under? I think that it's getting better. I think it's getting better, and I think that 
young players um, feel like they've they've got a voice and they can speak out. You know, Marcus Rashford, for example, he's maybe not necessarily speaking about mental health, but he's 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 looking at social issues, and that's really important. And people, you know, people are listening, and and you know, people aren't. You know, you get some people going. He should stick to football, bollocks, yeah, because that stuff's bigger than football. All all this stuff, and so I'd love to see more more initiatives and actually people people actually talking about how 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 they are feeling. I do I do feel it's getting better, but it's it's um, it's certainly a work in progress, and you got to just keep the conversation going all the time. I just wanted to know what was your inspiration behind. Um, my love of clothes, my, my passion for looking for stuff, sourcing stuff. Uh, I'd had a period in my life where I'd, I'd lost a couple of people and, and then um, there was, my, my wife wasn't well and I found myself online a lot more kind of locked, bit, bit locked in and looking at, looking at websites and things like that and it, it kind of sparked this thing within me and life jacket came into my head the word and I thought I need to do something with that it's good it's a it's just a good name and I thought I'll get the Instagram page and and then I had this plan to eventually which is what I'm going to do down the line is, is to create content and to and to uh, and to put on events and and, um, uh, and grow it a little bit and everyone's got a story because you know, everyone's got a person that they looked up to and went, oh, I want to dress like him. And everyone's got a jacket that they sold that they wish they hadn't sold. And everyone needs to know how to get that stain off that jacket, you know, without ruining that jacket. And everyone needs to know what the pit to pit is on that. Well, so it's like, I love all that stuff. And I want to create something where it's a bit of a hub, a bit of a focal point so that like in the morning you get up and you go on your phone and you have a little look, oh, what's Life Jacket doing? You know, what are they doing today? And it might be a bit of content. It might be, uh, you know, a jacket of the week. It might not be about jackets. It might be about mental health. I want to do events where all these guys, you know, got in touch with me after the Paninero article. I want them to come out and have a night where we all sit down and together and we chat and I may have a guest and we chat about clothes. We talk about football, music, whatever, but it's getting these people out um, to come and sit down and listen and have a chat and feel part of that thing, you know, in like life jacket, it feels like it's, it's more than just about clothes. It's about, you know, giving, giving people like me, people like you, that, that sense of something, a bit of belonging, you know, and, and, and get away from the, the, the laddish kind of toxic masculinity stuff and try and get everyone to just come along and just have a, have a, have a lovely evening. Hello, Governor, can I have these, please? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Cheers, lads. Thank you.